All right, get into that jog. Come on, just get right on into jog and walk and whatever you want to do to get that body started to warm up, okay? <clears throat> We're going to go through every series is going to start with a two minute jog. We're going to hit the shoulders, the shoulders, high knees, lateral raises, high knees, and shoulder presses. Then when we get to go into a two minute run after that, then we're going to do the biceps, mixed in with biceps and butt kicks. And then we're going to do squats, a squat series, pretty much just squat series through because squats bring up your cardio too anyways. Then we're going to do triceps and jacks. And we're going to do chest and side kicks. And then we're going to do back and mountain climbers, standing mountain climbers though. You can take it to the floor if you want to, I'm good at standing. Then we're gonna work the core with standing core moves. And I think it's just really pretty much just, yeah, standing core moves. Well, we've got um, side to sides for a little bit of cardio move. And we've got some um, knee ups, pulling those knees up for some cardio moves. So right now we're running it out, we're jogging it out, getting that body going. Getting it going fast. Get it moving, come on. I have a creak in my neck today too, so it's like, whoo. Slept on it wrong, I guess, last night. Let's get moving, come on. This is a Saturday fun workout. Put it together last night, last minute going. I want a full body. Full bodies are great for hitting the whole body, but I also like targeted ones. Because when you do the target ones, you focus on that muscle, you really burn it out. And I didn't even start my watch it. Let's start it up yet. Okay, we are two minutes in. We're ready for some shoulder presses. 10 of everything for the moves, okay? Other than the two minute runs. So walk down, grab the weights, grab my 15ers, shoulder presses. One, two, three, Four, take it slower. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come on up. High knees, it says for ten, but let's just go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Slide lateral raises. Grab the eighters. Ready for it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Down they go. Now, get into high knees. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we come. Shoulder presses. Come on down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Down they go. Into the jock. All right. That's what our shoulder moves. Jog it out. Or run it out, that is. Two minutes. biceps. So the biceps are going to do bicep curls, then go to butt kicks, then wide curls, so out to the sides, and butt kicks, and then hammer curls, focusing on that muscle. 
and then we'll come back to our run. Come on, make your body work, come on. Get that cardio in there, you push yourself. How much cardio do you wanna do? Are you skipping it and just doing the other moves? Cardio is important. Come on, let's keep it moving, keep it going. Almost a two minute mark. I'm gonna grab those tenors with the bicep moves. Really focus on the muscle when doing them. Squeeze that muscle and make it count. Three, two, one. Stop, grab them. Regular curls. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now they go, butt kickers. Ready for it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come on back. All right, grab them. Taking them wide. And one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Down you go. And the pickers ready for it. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Back to it. Grab them, hammer curls. Ready for it. One, squeeze. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Down they go, into the run. Two minutes. Okay, next one we have, we're moving into squats. That's why I got my 20 pounders. We're gonna do sumo squats, regular squats, staggered squat, squats with the right leg forward, staggered squats with the left leg forward. So pretty much the same thing as seen lunges, but anyways. And deadlifts. So we got still five minutes. But it's just going to be pretty much instead of having a hit in there, we'll keep it going with the squats. Just keep moving from one to the other as we go through it. And now we're getting that run in there. Come on, run it, make it work. Come on, we're almost to a minute. We've got another minute to go. This keep it going. Almost there. You grab it. You go grab from the twenties. We get some sumo squats. Remember, we're squatting through this. We we'll focus on it. We we'll do some fast, some slow, and walk it down. Grab the squats. I mean squats. Grab the weights to get in the squats. All right. Load them up here for the sumos. Feet are out wide. And one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Regular shots. Feet are to shoulder with distance. Sit it back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stagger squats. Right leg forward, left leg back. Go for it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switching legs. Stand it back. Go for it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One more move, dead lifts. Ready for it, three, draw this one back, back. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Down they go. Run it out. Okay. Keep it going, come on. Okay. Two minute run. We're in that now. Now we're gonna do, whew, told you the squat ones keep my heart rate up. Okay, triceps. We're gonna do tricep kickbacks, tricep extensions, and tricep kickbacks again with jacks in between. That's what we're gonna to get to do next. I just wanna drop it to the aiders for the kickbacks and then the extensions. I don't know if I'm gonna grab just one single 20 pounder or the two eights. Probably gonna grab the 20 pounder for the extension. in a minute. We have about 50, well, about 40 seconds now. A little bit, about 40 now. Come on, run out. See right now, it says my max heart rate's been 192, it's currently 181, and it was an average of 159 so far. Come on. Yes, this is a longer one. But we're having fun. 10 seconds. We grab those eighties for some kickbacks. Three, two, one. Pick them up. Ready for it. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Down they go into jacks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Grab the weight. Get into those extensions. Ready for it. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come on up. Jacks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Grab the eighters. Kicking it back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come on back. Get into that run. All right. Ah. Okay. Run it out. We're on our two minute run. Right now. I'm gonna run over, grab my drink. Keep running. It's so awesome. Uh. Run it out. I drink a couple on stage. Like you can't run and drink at the same time. I need a drink. Okay, we're taking it to the chest next, all right? And with the chest, we're gonna do chest presses. We're gonna come up, right kick it. We're gonna go back down, chest fly it. Come up, left kick it, back down, chest press. So, I normally up the weight for the presses, but I'm gonna just go ahead and keep it with the 15s. I was trying to think about the way of using the 20 pound kettlebells to up just a little bit, but they hit my wrist too much. So I just be really focused with it with the 10, 15s, I guess, because I did not grab the 30s for the presses. Which when my muscle control comes in and you make 15 pounds, feel like 40 pounds. You should really control that muscle, focus on it, and squeeze it. We're almost there. Take it down, get them done. What is your heart rate, huh? Are you pushing it hard enough? Do you need to sprint it out? Push it a little harder? Come on, push it. Make it work. We got this. All right. Come back. Did a couple minutes more. Can we get it around my drink? Not minutes, seconds more that is. All right, grab the mat for that. Grab the weights. 15 pounders for me. Normally I'll use the 30s, but we're good with it. Press it up. Squeeze. Resist the way down. Two. Three. Four, tighten everything up. Five, make it work. Six, seven, squeeze it tight. Eight, nine, ten. Come on down. Come on up. All right, side kicks. And go. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, back to the go. Chest flies now. Come on down. Grab those weights. All the way to the mat. All the way up. And all the way out for one. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
Down we go. Come on up. Left kicks. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Back down. Come that mat. All the way down. Grab those 15 or whatever you're using. Press it up for one. Squeeze. Two. Three. Squeeze everything. Four. Five. Resist. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Slow. Fight it. Come on up. Put them down. Get that mat out of the way and get into that jog. All right. All right. Running it out. Keep it moving. I have both my tablet going and my GoPro going, trying to see if I can make it work. I couldn't get it to connect to my phone though, so hoping. And I just didn't trust it, so I have both going where the GoPro should give a good bit better video quality but the tablet backed up just in case it doesn't work or I can't get it off of it right with the card. I don't have the same video editing apps as I have on the tablet either so we'll see. Oh, Jog it out, come on. Almost to a minute. Are you running? Are you pushing yourself? Are you just going for a jog? It's whatever you feel up to doing. Let's get it going though. Next one's gonna be give you the back. We're gonna do lawnmowers on the right side. I just thought on the right side would be this side. Lawnmowers on the right side. We're gonna do standing mountain climbers. Then we're gonna do bent over rows, standing mountain climbers and long lowers to the left. Okay, we only have back and core left on the thing to do. So, I guess it is a longer one, definitely. But, we're hitting it all, having some fun on a day where you get more, or you could just do parts of it today, parts of it tomorrow, whatever you feel up to doing. Run sideways like I do crazy, like, have fun. It's all about that. Don't look at your workouts as I have to do it. Look at that as about I get to do them. All right, long mowers. One side, three, two, one. Grab that weight. Come on down. Really pull it up for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Down it goes. Mountain climbers, ready for it. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Back down. Grab them both. Rowing it out. Palms up, facing outwards. Ready. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Back they go. Grab it in there. Mountain climbers, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Going one. Opposite side. Read a lot more. Three, two. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
Down it goes. Run it out. All right, we have one more series. It's core. I kept it standing. Except for the very end, after we're done with everything, I have it ending in a plank. The plank hold's gonna be as long as you want it. But we're gonna end in a plank at the end. It depends on how much time I have left. It's already gonna be putting us up to a 30 minute workout. So we'll see. And right, now we're running. Run it out. So, when you're doing the workouts, what's your favorite part to do? Do you like doing shoulders, biceps, squats, triceps, working the chest out, working the back out, or working the core out? What is your favorite thing to work? Mine are the shoulders. I love working the shoulders. I love starting the week off with the shoulders and then legs because I have more energy at the beginning of the week than I do at the end. So I feel like I can do more focus, make more of a difference at the beginning of the week than I do at the end. So I like to get them done there or mix them out throughout the week because it's also my most trouble spot are those thighs. So I'm trying to get them going. And of course I love working the core. Strong core foundation keeps you going. Also helps me with the HLAV 27 and a half arthritis in every joint. So keeping this going, keeping my body moving, keeping my core strong, helps alleviate back pain and so much more. So you find what you works for you, you get in there, you do it. You don't make excuses, you get something done. Some days you may only even get five minutes, but you got it in. Okay, don't skip it completely. If you're not filling up to it, do something. Five minute focus on something to get yourself keep moving forward and don't get stagnant in place. All right, now standing core crunches. Okay, I don't have weights for this. You can grab them if you want to. We're going to really crunch down and pull up knees, okay? Three, two, one. For one, two, Three, four, five, squeeze it tight, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Side to side bend. I'm grabbing the two fifteeners. You can grab no weight or grab them either way. For one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. All right, weighted windmills. One hand is down, the other one comes straight up. Legs are out wide. I want to go down for ten. One, two, three, four, five, six. Pull yourself up. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Down they go. Knee ups, okay? Really crunching them with your knees. It's pretty much the same thing we were doing with core, but right now it's knee ups. It's supposed to be our cardio move. Three, two, one. One, two, three. Back. 
We're running. All right, that was 30 minutes of work. Here we go. Oh, that's a lot of problems to sleep, huh? All right, we're getting in and in a plank. Now at this point in time, uh, stretching routine is next on the schedule. Uh, so stretch out that sore neck of mine in a minute here. Ready for it, come on up, drop back, draw shoulders back, and then those legs. Draw those shoulders back. It's like I cannot tell if I have a straight back or not. Feels okay, I can't see for sure. Ah, I can't turn my neck that far to see the clock, but kind of my vibes of it. I'll look at my watch. How's that? All right, so we are at, still counting, 20, it says only 28. Oh, because I started it late, that's right. Okay, so we're gonna go to, it says 30 minutes. That'll be a couple minute plank. When it tells us we're at 30 minutes, then we'll push back. Or you could stay in the plank longer. Let's see how long can you hold it in the forearm plank for the next, we only got about a minute, I think. Let's see. Yeah, less than a minute. Less than a minute left on this. Can you do it? Put your mind in it. Focus on stuff. Sometimes I like to use planks as my meditation time. Really focusing on something, reading the devotion, focusing on the word. Whatever I can do. Hold it tight, hold it strong. Keep it going. Bring the heart rate down a little. When it goes off, we'll go into dolphin, followed by puppy, followed by child. Burn calories. 237 calories. Okay. 30 minutes. And he comes up now. Oh. 127 beats per minute. Alright, so starting off with dolphin. Going back. Arms stay down, knees go down. Puppy. Come back, all the way back, up on those fingertips, come down, child's pose. Come up on those fingertips, you get a little bit of shoulder stretch too. All the way up, leg over, twist. I'm not worried about stretching too much right now because I'm about to do a stretch. Pull up the stretch. Flow. I kind of look at things. Don't know if I'm going to what I'm going to do. I'm going to do what feels good. So if you can, join me for that. Let's stretch out that body. Keep it flexible. So we can keep on moving and getting it done. <laughs> 